Skiing 4-Track is adaptable to a variety of disabilities. 4-Trackers ski on two skis and use outriggers or a slider to assist in balancing while in motion. An individual who has two arms and two legs, with or without prosthetics, and is capable of standing, is a candidate for 4-Tracking. To begin an evaluation of a potential 4-Track skier, observe the way the student walks. Are they using crutches or in a wheelchair? And to what extent? Are they able to stand and take steps without any assistive devices? Is the student wearing braces? And are they full length or partial? Can the student walk without them? How much can the student bend at the knees? Can the student move the legs independently? In what directions? Or do the legs move as one? If braces are required to stabilize the ankles and the knees, is it necessary to fit the braces inside the ski boots or will the boots themselves be enough stability for the student? With some disabilities, an individual will be affected on one side of their body. That side will be weak, lacking lateral control. If your student lacks lateral control of their feet and legs, some sort of stabilizer must be used. This is an easy way to test lateral control. Can they exert significant pressure pushing laterally against your hand with the knee? Test both directions, to the inside and to the outside of each knee. The ski bra or tip stabilizer, which may be a bungee cord or edgy wedgie, gives more control to the feet, legs, and hips. It keeps the ski tips from crossing and allows your student's strong side to help control the weaker side. Although the skis are hooked together, the ski bra or tip stabilizer allows flexibility and a stable stance with the skis three to four inches apart. After learning the correct leg position and experiencing the feeling of moving, it may be able to be removed with continued success. Flip ski outriggers are preferred as balance assisters while skiing and crutches while moving to the slopes and on the flats. Your goal is for the outriggers to be flat on the snow when your students are in their gear and standing in a straight run position. Once on the snow, practice a few straight runs. However, be careful not to exhaust your student with walking and sidestepping. Give them a push. Remember, students with ski bras cannot sidestep. Often, four-track students are not able to wedge. In this case, proceed directly to parallel turns. Ask the lift operator to slow the chair. Help your students to get out to the loading position. Be sure the flip skis are down. And then once this chair goes by, we'll slowly go out to the red line. So just pushing out here, we're gonna stop right at this red line. Get our averages in the down position. And we're gonna look for the chair over our shoulder. Three, two, one, and up we go. Then I'm gonna reach up, grab the safety bar. Unloading may be difficult and strong assistance may be needed. Signal the lift attendant to slow the lift as needed at the top. Acquiring the ability to unload the chair independently and at normal speed may require a great deal of practice for some students. I reach underneath just to give you a little boost. And three, two, one, up, and down we go. Provide assistance and encourage your student with their first turns. Use the two-point hold by placing one hand on the hip and the other hand just below the opposite knee. Gently assist in rotating the hips in order to steer the feet and skis in the direction of the turn. Repeat this in both directions until the student can make the turns without assistance. Be sensitive to your student's ability to balance over the center of the skis. Inability to comfortably balance may indicate the need to modify the adaptive equipment. With the student who does not need to be assisted to maintain an upright position, but has difficulty steering the skis, reins can be attached to the ski bra. This allows you to gently guide the skis while simultaneously controlling the speed of the student. Reining helps keep your student under control while experiencing turning. This method allows more freedom than using a two-point hold. From your vantage point, you have a good view of what your student is doing. This method can be used in assisting with traversing and double fall lines. Gradually decrease control as your student's ability increases. 
eventually allowing them full control with no need for the reins. While standing on the side of the hill, have your student point their skis down the hill at a shallow angle, slide, and come to a stop. The next time, the angle will become a little steeper. Do this progressively until the student is starting in the fall line and doing a J-turn. This drill will help a student learn to shape their turns and control speed while turning. Be sure to do it in both directions, or use it to improve a weakness in turning in one direction. People who ambulate with a walker and those who have significant weakness on one side and difficulty supporting themselves with outriggers may use a slider. A slider is especially helpful for students with impaired lateral balance and is very versatile. It will provide better support than outriggers, which tend to slide out from under your student. Reins are attached to the slider or to the ski bra or tip stabilizer. The slider will be used on moderate to intermediate terrain. It may be used as a transitional piece to give the skier the dynamic sense of moving on the slippery slope. Once mastered and with confidence, they may be able to move to outriggers or poles. Teaching four-track skiers is a great challenge to the instructor's imagination and ability to employ a wide variety of adaptive equipment and hands-on methods. Often, there's a fine line between a student who is capable of skiing in a standing position and one who is not. The choice is theirs, but sometimes it's easier to ski sitting down.